Hello and welcome to this fourth video in data interpretation. In my previous three videos, we have looked at the three different forms and in this video, we will look at the bar graph. So as you can see how I have looked at the basic DI videos, I have first tried to cover these four common forms because mostly in most exams, you will see table, pie charts, line graph and bar graph in aptitude exams. And also then after this video, once you're comfortable with bar graphs also, then I'll take you to mixed graphs where combination of graphs come and sometimes missing data comes and we will look at little high complexity uh, graphs. So in this video, uh, I again have five questions as usual. We will look at a bar graph. We will see information, how it's presented. We will attempt those five uh, questions using smart calculation. So let's get started. Okay. So there's the data given so he says refer to the bar graph and answer the given questions okay data related to the number of applications received by a university for master's program for two subjects a and b during five years that means they're saying there's a particular university and they've given the data of this university from 2004 to 2008 and what is this data this is the number of applicants received for two subjects so let's say mtech or mba or mcom whatever that is so for subject a for example in 2004 for subject A, they received 210 applications. Whereas for subject B, they received how much? They received 140 applications. Now, if you look at 2005 compared to 2004, the number of applications for subject A has come down from 2,210 to 130. Whereas the applications for subject B has increased from 140 to 280 and so on and so forth. So I think this is very easy to understand. Now, what you can do is, I bring this first question to you. However, I would urge you to probably pause the video here and you may want to attempt on your own. That means without listening to my explanation, you can do it on your own so that you start feeling confident because this is the fourth video on DI now. I hope you are now confident attempting most of these questions. So let's get started. So in 2005, he says, out of the total number of applications received for subject A and B together, only 30 were accepted. Okay, in 2005, that means this is the year that we are talking about. The total number of applications for these two subjects, only 30 were accepted. So what is the total number of applications? 280 plus 130. That means 280 plus 30, 310 plus, that means 410 are the total number of applications received for this particular year. He's saying only 30% of these applications were received, were accepted of the applications received. Okay. Now, if a number is 410, we've discussed this in my previous percentage videos. If you remember, 10% of a number is very easy to calculate. That means a decimal just moves here. So 10% is 41, 30% would be three times of this. So if 10% is 41, 30% would be three times. That means it will be 123. And the question is, what is the total number of applications accepted for subject A and B together in 2005? And that is what you have to answer. So again, this is like a five, 10 second question. Okay, let's move to the next question. In 2004, okay, 30% of the applications received for subject A and 20% of the applications received for subject B were from international students. Okay, in 2004, out of these different applications, so 210 for A, 140 for B, he's saying 30% of these, 30% of this number is from international students. And 20% of this, these applications is from international students for subject B. So he's saying, what is the total number of international applicants for subject A and B together in 2004? That is very easy. 210, 30, again, this would be 21 into 3. That means it is 63. This is 140, meaning 14 into 2, 28. So all he's saying is, how much is this total? So again, 6 plus 2, 9, but 8, 3. 6 to 8 and 1 9 and this is of course this is 91 so you could add this i mean i need not do this for you right so we could just add this and this is of course 91 right so extremely easy let's look at the next question if the respective ratio of total number of applications is for subject a and b together a and b together so this together is a keyword if the respective ratio of total number of applications is for a and B together in 2008 and 2009 is 3 is to 4. That means if this is 3x 
2008 and let's say the total application received in 2009 he's saying is 3 to 4 that means this is 4x if this is 3 this is 4 so he's saying what is the total number of application received in 2009 for a and b together so now we already have this data how much is this 230 plus 119 that means 230 plus 200 is 430 minus 10 so this is 420 is given already and this is 3 this is 4 so what would this number be obviously now the moment we say this is 3 is to 4 3 meaning 14 3 is a 42 so 14 into 3 42 14 into 4 56 that means this number would be 560 how did i do i am sure if a and b are in the ratio 3 is to 4 a is already given to you and a they are saying is how much 420 can we not calculate b that means b would be how much b would be 4 by 3 of 420 right because they are in 3 is to 4 ratio so that means 3 into 1 3 12 40 14 into 4 same thing that i have done so this is again very very easy let's move to the next question fourth So for our previous question, what you could do is you could refer to our ratio videos because all of this is already explained there, and this is extremely easy. Fourth question: What is the average number of applications received for subject A in 2005, 2007, and 8? Average number for A in 2005, 7, and 8. 2005, what is the average? What is the application received this? 2007, how many did you receive? 210. For 2008, how much did you receive? 230. He's saying what is the average number of applications? So 230 plus 210. This is how much? 440. 440 plus 130. This is 570. And he's saying average you have to calculate for how many years? Of course, for five, six, seven, eight. That means three years. So this is direct three into 90. So 190. So again, very very easy. Okay, let's look at the. Final question. So, is the number of applications received for subject B increased by what percentage from 2004 to 2006? So, for subject B, so subject B, okay, we know which is subject B, the orange one. From 2004, he's saying to 2006, he's saying how much it has increased. So, it has increased from 140 to 220. So, from 140 to 220, it has increased. So, he's saying by what percentage it has increased? So it has increased how many in actual terms 220 minus 140 which is 80 on what base it has increased on 140 this is what you have to calculate in percentage terms and this is so easy right so there are again multiple ways to do with this you can orally do this 8 by 14 into 100 and you know you get your answer or you can say if 140 is 100% what is 50% of 140 Fifty percent is seventy, because one by two, correct. But this is eighty. That means more than that. Okay. What is five percent of one forty again? That is seven, correct. So how much you've got seventy-seven? Still some distance to be covered, right? So that means more than fifty-five. More than fifty-five, you always have to keep an eye out on the options. The only one option is there. Now this is just one way. Another way, what you could do? This is again. 8 80 by 140 i can write as a 8 by 14 and i can also write it as 4 upon 7 if you remember in my fraction videos i told you 1 by 7 is 14.28 so that means if 1 by 7 is 14.28 4 by 7 would be 14.28 into 4 that means 14 into 4 56 meaning 56 plus only one option so i mean multiple ways this is extremely easy but we can do this like that so we should be just fast with calculation seeing the data it was very easy to understand and i think we are thorough so thanks for watching this video and i hope you have watched the series of these four videos which were very basic and just to introduce you to the different data forms now in the subsequent videos we will look at some mixed graphs and some missing data